what is going on everyone welcome back to the fabulous football channel my name is Romo and I know I know it's been a long time and I shouldn't have left you without a dope video to step to but I'm back with some Pez 2018 I got involved in uh, making these videos uh, in Pez 2017 late in the game but um, I decided to come back and try to see if uh, the second time around would be a lot better in terms of viewership and um, I am going to be doing a Master League this year with Liverpool. Liverpool has a team and a, uh, their, their license and their stadium is licensed in Pez and I think that for, um, for Pez I think it's great to have a, the Liverpool atmosphere and the stadium there especially for when we make the Champions League. Um, the atmosphere is just going to be really great. I actually don't have, uh, I'm actually not a uh, Liverpool fan. I'm actually a United fan. My last Master League series that I, I ended was based on Manchester and just wanted to do something different. So I figured I would play with uh, Liverpool here in the demo to kind of get a feel for how they would play in terms of uh, their team and their, uh, their shape and everything like that. So um, I decided to uh, play Liverpool against Borussia Dortmund here. I am actually playing on a PS4. This is a um, PS4 Pro um, in 4K, but I don't think I'll be able to upload it to, uh, to uh, YouTube in 4K. So we'll, we'll kind of see how that goes in terms of um, uploading it to, uh, to YouTube. So um, I'm keeping my eye open here for a few things in this demo. I want to see how the AI play on Superstar mode. Um, that's what I'm playing now. I have all the players on the best fitness level possible. I really want to see how this goes. I played a few uh, matches offline and um, I was really dominating the game. Um, but I've watched a few videos here on YouTube and everybody's pretty much saying you have to play, uh, you have to play as the away side. So I'm going to be playing as Liverpool um, against Borussia Dortmund and kind of see how things go. I like the new uh, the new graphics that um, they have here on the Pez where they're showing the real player faces as opposed to the, uh, the cartoon drawings. My only concern with that is what happens when you are playing with a you know, League 2 side or, or a championship side in, in um, England where they have player faces there as well or where they go back to the, uh, to the cartoon faces. So we're really going to kind of take a look at that and kind of see um, what that'll be like when the, uh, when the actual game releases here within the next, uh, next week or so. Um, and I just happen to be playing PlayStation. I'm here in Florida and uh, we're getting ready for a hurricane to kind of come and kind of destroy um, our lifestyle here. So uh, we may not have electricity for days or weeks at a time in the next uh, few hours. Here. So, Please send some prayers up for, for Florida and all the islands that have been affected by this storm. Um, so, overall, I thought that PES 2017 last year was, was a pretty good game. I mean, I enjoyed playing it. I played primarily Master League and um, Master League Story. I kind of had to, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, kind of had to create my own storyline simply because the storylines and Master League were just, you know, non-existent. It was just the same old news clips over and over again. And it's kind of like the uh, same thing in FIFA. But FIFA is a little bit better in terms of storylines as well. Like, I mean, it's a bit surprising first, uh, first three minutes of the match here. So, um, you'll see in this match, I kind of struggled with defending because um, the switching is kind of confusing. When I, when I think I'm going to be switching to a player and I, I press the switch button, um, it, there's either a delay or, or um, because the ball is moved, the, uh, the switch doesn't go where I think it's going to go. And, and that cost me quite a, a bit here in, in this match. Um, you guys will get a chance to see that. Um, but getting back to Master League, um, I hope that they kind of overhauled it. And here's Aubameyang again puts another one away and that, that was another result of the, uh, the switching uh, error that I tried to switch to the defender to, to kind of cut off his run and there was just a slight delay and, and within that slight second that it took 
to um, to switch, he ran right by uh, my defender there. So already 2-0 down. And again, um, I'm looking to do a Master League with uh, Liverpool, I think, as a team. Simply because their license and their stadium is in Pez, it'll make it a little bit more authentic when it comes to uh, playing in the Premier League. Uh, also, be bringing back my uh, Premier League graphics that I, I did in my other videos, but I've improved them a little bit. Um, doing some down, downtime like that. So, um, but the story storylines in Master Mode, Master League Mode, are, are kind of non-existent. And Pez kind of really has to to do something about that. I saw a few uh, video clips on on uh, Twitter where um, they're bringing back some of the old things that they had um, in, in Pez Pass. Um, like, looks like there's, there's going to be a press conference either before or after the match. You can, uh, go to Twitter and, and uh, search hashtag Pez2018 and you'll, you'll kind of see those things. Um, and that, that, I think that that's a step forward. I, I enjoy the, uh, the press conferences uh, when you sign a, uh, a big player, uh, when you sign on to manage the team. Um, the only thing that would make those things better is if they allowed that to be kind of interactive, whereas, you know, like... Um, in uh, Madden and the journey and all of those things where you get to decide how you want to respond to a certain question instead of it just being you know an extremely scripted um, response to 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 everything you know and you know it's 2018 you know and every year it's like oh well this will be the year that you know Pez does this and does this and you know you're shelling out sixty dollars you know or forty pounds wherever you are for the for the game and you know you, you want to get the best game possible um and, you know and considering the fact that pez doesn't have all the licenses which really doesn't matter to me i feel like they should focus on the smaller things you know the, the things that will kind of set them apart a little bit in terms of uh, gameplay and, and, uh, and presentation overall i think that pez 2018 visually is the best that pez uh, has ever looked um, especially on the PS4 Pro here, um, the graphics are just amazing. It's mind blowing, especially when you get close up shots um, on the replays. Uh, there are still a few things where you can kind of tell the game isn't really, I guess it doesn't seem like it's designed to, uh, to really run on 4K, even though I've seen commercials where they're saying that they're going to have it ready for 4K for. Uh, Xbox One X, so I'm not sure if the PS4 Pro version will be um, 4K compatible as well. And you know, we're we're gonna kind of see what that's like once the game is released. I'm debating on whether I will have it on PS4 Pro or um, buying the, the PC version because obviously the PC version you're allowed to do so much more in terms of editing. So it's still something that I'm debating, and we'll kind of see. Uh, which one I end up getting. So again, um, Master League need better storylines. Um, last year, after about two or three seasons of playing Master League, it got kind of dull and boring simply because it was the same thing over and over again. Um, and I think that Pez should probably take a page out of uh, out of uh, FIFA's book and they kind of give you goals to accomplish in terms of you know each campaign you know otherwise you're just playing for the sake of playing you want to win the premier league or la liga or you know you want to win your domestic cups or champion leagues champions league or the uh, europa league you know as we reach halftime here um, and we're down two nil as you can see um in terms of possession uh we have 59 to 41 percent and that's still something that's kind of a little off but it's it's, it's a bit acceptable in terms of um of possession here so we kick off to start the, uh, the second half and in another video I'll kind of break down the, uh, the, uh, the gameplay itself I just wanted to kind of talk about Master League in, in this video some things that I'm looking forward to some things that I hope uh, have changed uh, one of those things is uh, transfers I think transfers were a little too easy in Master League and they, they're all, they've always been too easy uh, to get players you know and it looks like FIFA has kind of overhauled their uh, their transfer process. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what 
uh, what uh, Pez has done in terms of their transfers. It's just too easy to negotiate and buy players, um, you know, to sell players on. Um, it just needs to be a little bit more difficult as we go down in the three mil as Marco Ruiz uh, puts one past the keeper. And it's, it was a struggle defending in this game. And uh, like I said, I have it on Superstar different team. Man. Oh, it's amazing. It's really, really well. Um, but yeah, so in terms of uh, transfers, I, I just think that Master League in itself just needs a, an overhaul in terms of storylines, transfers. And then one of the most annoying things that happens in Master League for me is that I'll be coaching, um, so in, in PES 2017 I was managing uh, Manchester United and, and we had a rough start and then we kind of got things on, on track. And by the January transfer window, I already had offers from about four clubs. I had Liverpool, Manchester City, um, a, cl a few clubs in, the, um, in La Liga offering me their manager position. That's unrealistic. You know, I haven't been following football for a very, very long time, but I'm not sure how many managers have ever left uh, a club in the middle of the season to go in and manage another club. It just doesn't happen. And and the clubs that are coming in for you are a, bit, a little bit you know, unrealistic as well. And that, that needs to be changed. You know, I can't be managing Manchester United and then... Um, Everton comes in and says, hey, can you, uh, would you like to manage our team? And just, that's kind of a backwards move, you know. It would be one thing if PSG came to me after the season and said, hey, we were impressed with what you did. Come and manage our, our side, you know. But that's not what's happening um, in terms of um, um, Master League. And again, Master League needs to have an overall purpose. It's, it's just... It's just so mundane. I mean, overall, you know that, okay, you want to win your league, you want to win the Champions League. But what happens when you don't win those things? You know, you don't, you don't get fired, which makes the fact that uh, these, these clubs coming in and asking you to manage their team even more unrealistic. You should get sacked in, um, in Master League. If you, your, 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 your board of directors gives you an objective of, winning uh, the Champions League within your your first three years and you don't do that or you don't win any any trophies in, in two or three seasons depending on the size of the club. Like if you're at a Manchester United, it's, it's, it's an expectation every season that you're going to win a few trophies. And when you come away with nothing and you finish in the... Uh, in the seventh in the Premier League, none of those managers have, have survived. David Maurice did not survive. Um, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the other manager, uh, the Dutch uh, national team manager. I can't remember his name. His name escapes me for some reason. But he, he got sacked, and immediately uh, Mourinho came in, and he made a big difference, you know. So Master League needs a purpose. It, it, you can't just be going from season to season to season without any real objectives. You know, there should be object objectives to reduce the uh, reduce your your uh, players player uh, salaries overall where it kind of forces you to be successful with kind of like not by not buying superstar players it, it makes your uh, your your transfer market business a lot more difficult because you have to find players with a lot of quality to them but that aren't very expensive so then you're more dependent on on the scouting network and you tell your scouts to go out and find the players that are good but also don't cost me a boatload of money so that should be an objective in master league where okay hey in the next three seasons you need to reduce your payroll budget by x amount of dollars you know um so on and so forth and you know you know bring in a player even though the, the youth teams in uh, master league are absolutely horrific but you should have an objective to to promote a youth team player into the starting 11 within three seasons, you know, that should be objective. And then, and then it shouldn't be where the player, the youth team player plays, you know, two or three matches and you achieve it. You know, he has to play at least, you know, 60 or 50% of the games for any given season for it to be considered um, a promotion, you know. So that's kind of something that I'm, I'm looking forward to in Master League. I don't know whether or not it will be there. Um, in terms of objectives, but you know the way that it's currently structured, it, it just Master League just gets a little 
a little boring. So, you know, those are a few things that, um, that I'm looking forward to in terms of just trying to see whether or not, you know, Master League is going to be worth it this year. You know, it would, wouldn't hurt to have some preseason tournaments as well. Um, you know, I know that they sound, they signed the, uh, the, uh, the preseason Champions League, but it won't be available in Master League this season. So we'll see. Anyway, this match was played on Superstar difficulty, and as you can see, um, Borussia Dortmund really uh, handed me my head in this match. Um, I just had a difficult time defending in this one, but I, I wasn't really focusing on the gameplay, just kind of getting a feel for Liverpool and kind of see, you could say, doing some scouting ahead of um, the... Uh, the game being released um, in the next week or so as you can see we continue to dominate uh, possession there and that's something that needs to change as well well anyway guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode Peace.